Are you interested in those? Two dollars, okay. One forty two sixty. For a dollar, you can't go wrong.
I think Jay got them. God, don't tell me that. 75, they 75 cents. You see what this is? Wonderful, wonderful, the world's finest knowledge in the world. I was checking them out. I'm surprised ain't nobody picked some of these up, huh? These all yours? Oh, oh. I'm the, just the one that put it. I'm the one in charge. So. All right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If maybe I bought a few of them, maybe we could negotiate a price a little bit. Or okay, what are you thinking? What are you? Um, how many are there? there Let's are. see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So. Eight and what twenty five on all but this one oh, over here, here, huh? A hundred dollars for all of them. I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just I'll claim them. Yeah. Okay. I'll go get a box. It's nice they're already in these binders too. Oh man. yeah, we got these from a lady's house at. Gave us a bunch of stuff that passed. Yeah. And she was a Star Trek and a big fan, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you got one something with your name already up there? Yes, sir. What's your name? Jeffrey. Okay, I'll go put it each with your stuff. All right. I'm ready to check out, but you care if we just add it up right over here? Got sure. a big pile of stuff over here. Sure. All right, what's yours? Said a hundred bucks on all the magazines. Work, yeah. You know what? You want to add up that big. You can stack some stuff on there. Yeah, yeah. Um, two of them are priced at a dollar. One's at two dollars, and one's at five. So nine bucks. I'm gonna take your word on that. All right. That's mine too, and it's twenty-five. That way, we go ahead and get that big stuff out of the way. Now we can add up all this. These didn't have a price. We're gonna say a quarter a piece. All right. Yes, ma'am. And that was one fifty. So there's another two bucks. Oh, there's another remote. Some two so chargers. We'll Oops. Do, um, let's do 50 cents for all those. Okay. And I got three of these. Oh, 50 cents okay. a piece. Okay. Oh, wow. I didn't notice these were priced too. Looks like 10, 10 cents. So make sure that one's. 25. How many? Two, you got four, six, eight. Wait. Two, four, six, nine. Okay. And then the Sony stream at two dollars. Two dollars, okay. One forty-two sixty-five. Sounds good. Oh, and <laughs> what about the wicker basket? I did grab it over there. Throw all this stuff in it. <laughs> Here, I was gonna give y'all 140. Yeah, I was gonna give y'all 145 anyways. Oh, okay. If y'all just have Works. a five. All right.
help this gentleman carry all his stuff out. I can pull on around here, can't I? Yes, that will be all great. All right, yeah, that'll be there good. You go. Appreciate you it. I'm going to go get my truck from around there. Here's y'all's cart back. Thank you so Thank much. Thank y'all so much. You have a good day. Y'all have a good one. So we're back at the house from uh, hitting up that church sale. Man, that's uh, I think the third year in a row I've gone to it and uh, always find some really good stuff there. I guess we'll uh, start with the obvious, all of these um, Starlog magazines that I picked up. These are in a uh, very good condition. They're all in these plastic sleeves. One thing about that though is that the tops are open. So there is some dirt or uh, you know, some grime on the tops of them as well as like the first ones in each binder. Um, it's kind of dirty at the front I just imagine. You know, from them sitting there like this, wherever they were, probably in somebody's garage for a long time, they still just collected dust and dirt going in the tops of them. But either way, this was a great deal. Most of them did have the uh, things on the side here showing which numbers they are. So these are the magazines 18 through 35. I think a few of them flew off when I was bringing them home, but that's all right because I'm gonna go through anyways and make sure that each one of them are there. Um, if you just look right here, see it says number 18, December, number 19, number 20 and so on. So I'll be able to go through and make sure that all those are there. Um, and we got eight books here, uh, you know, adding it up, it was looking to be about $185 worth. You guys saw the negotiating. Um, as soon as he said a hundred bucks for all of them, I didn't hesitate. That's a very good price. So when I looked up comps right away, I noticed there was a lot of four that had number 35, number 36, um, number 37, and then it skipped 38 and 34 and had number 40. Only four of them. And uh, it sold for almost 40 bucks with free shipping. Um, so that was a good sign. And then there were some that had gone by category. Like like this one could be like a Star Wars category. Um, and then there was like a James Bond one with uh, Sean Connery as James Bond. But since I think I have some issues that are, you know, in a row like this, I think I'm going to list mine by the year. I also saw comps like that where people were listing them you know 12 issues for the entire year like say 1998 uh star log magazine subscription and um, they were selling for about 60 plus so i think that'll probably be the way to go maybe i can get about 50 a piece for each year but yeah so those are the magazines next up behind it there is this musical holiday train set i was able to find a few comps on this going for around 120 dollars that's including shipping so i paid 25 and i think it's never been used this old tape right here uh here let me see if i can find a better shot Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe this is the tape that they used to use on stuff like this. This thing's from 1995, and so I think that means like this is factory sealed. No one's ever opened it. I mean, even though it is a small little piece of tape. Um, but if you look in there, it literally looks like these are perfectly positioned. I don't think it's ever been taken out of this box, but I'm definitely not just gonna sell it as new. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, pull it out, see if I can't find a way to test this without interrupting how pristine it looks inside there. I also need to clean up the front of the plastic here. It's a little dirty, but I think it's probably in good working condition and we should be able to get about 100, 120 bucks for it. And then next we'll go over this little basket of stuff in a minute, but we did get three VCRs and one VCR DVD player. You guys probably saw on the thing, um, like this one's got a note on it that says turns on, but eats tapes. If you've seen a lot of my videos in the past, um, I've test VCRs and stuff all the time and I usually can figure out what's keeping a tape held up in there and it's usually something very simple. So for a dollar I definitely went ahead and took the risk and I think I'll be able to fix all these up and hopefully they're all in good working condition but uh, keep that in mind because comps on these uh, for these two they're exactly the same or going for around 50 bucks. Um, I don't have an immediate remote for it that I know of but I do think I probably I've got a big tub full of remotes. I can probably find two of them that work for these. Then the SV2000 down here, um, I forget exactly what model this is, but um, comps on it were selling for around 60 to $70. And I believe the remote, it does use a remote like this. Um, I should be able to pair a remote with that one as well. Sorry, there's a three-wheeler going down the road. Uh, then the Sanyo on the bottom here, um, I don't think I have a remote for it, and it also sells for around 40, 45 to 50 bucks on that one as well. But like I said, keep in mind, I still haven't tested these things, but overall, what did I pay? I think nine bucks for all four of those, definitely worth it. If they don't work, then I'll chunk it, but I only need one of them to work to be able to make all my money back. So definitely worth the risk. 
Now into this little stuff. Um, let's see, this Jensen thing. I believe this sells for around 25 bucks if it's uh, still in good working condition. I need to do a little few things to test that. Then we got this Kodak battery charger. I didn't see too many comps on this, but for a dollar, and since it's brand new, never been opened, I went ahead and picked it up. I did see one comp that sold for around 18 bucks. The one that's just like this in the same packaging and stuff. So maybe it'll be a good flip. These remotes, I just went ahead and grabbed them so that I could, like I said, I've, I, I spare remotes like this. Definitely these kind, um, the ones that say DVD video and uh, NB and then a number. Um, these are actually probably worth money on their own, but I'm going to go ahead and keep them in my tub uh, just in case I find some VCRs and stuff to match it with. I'll get a lot more value for it. Oh, we got another remote down here. Same thing with these chargers right here. I got a Nintendo DS wall charger and car charger. So I find Nintendo DSs all the time that don't have chargers and stuff like that. And it's actually a good thing when you do that at a yard sale because the people don't mo know much about it. It's usually a mom selling one of their son's or daughter's DSs and they're just like, well, I don't have the cord, so here, take it for five bucks. And uh, so yeah, now I have the cord just in case I find one and I'll be able to get a lot more value for it. Next, we have these Fujifilm uh, film rolls. This is the 400, um, and then we have two of the 200 speed film rolls. All three of these are expired from like 2007, but even expired comps were going from about 15 to 20 bucks a piece on those. Then we have some Sony DVD Plus RW. Uh, these are for like a handy cam that uses DVDs. I love that they're only like 30 minutes long. <laughs> I used to have a handy cam, but it was actually even before these days, it was on the mini, uh, what were they, mini DV tapes or whatever, but the fact that these only hold 30 minutes, just for reference, like when I go on yard sales, I usually have at least two hours of footage to go through. So could you imagine if you're sitting there taking out these discs every 30 minutes, you know, God, that would suck. I, this memory card that I have in the GoPro right now will last me at least like three hours. But either way, these sell for around 25 bucks. And then the Maxell um, DVD negative RWs, I actually saw an exact comp that had nine of them, like mine, that sold for around 15 plus shipping. So I'm expecting, you know, 15 to 20 bucks on those. And last but not least in here, we got the Sony Dream Machine. I do really good with these. I love picking up like the Dream Machine stuff, not just Sony too, Homedic, Homedics, is a good brand um honeywell i think makes some as as well and i've actually even sold this exact brand that icf c218 or model i mean um but either way comps on this sell for around 20 bucks pay two bucks for it and they're also super easy to uh test you know just plug it in make sure the radio works your alarms work all your buttons and whistles work like that and should be a good flip. So really quick, I, uh, I want to give a shout out to all my frequent watchers and uh, commenters on the videos. Um, recently, I've been super busy, haven't been able to read and uh, comment back to everybody. Um, so I just wanted to give you all a special shout out to, uh, like I said, my frequent commenters, people that just come through every video, making sure they're letting me know that they're watching and supporting. And I really appreciate that. So uh, thank you, uh, Susan, Susan Fontaine. Um, I know you're one that comments every time. And also, I apologize in advance if I get anyone's name name wrong but uh lee hamblin i see you as well always comment and i appreciate it ebay addicts i really appreciate your support as well man lorraine perez you as well you're always commenting giving me thumbs up and stuff like that i really appreciate it and last but not least old wally stewart where you been lately buddy uh he's comment all the time i know he's still watching and stuff but um either way once again special shout out to y'all i really appreciate everyone who continues to watch and support my channel so um until next time keep flipping Thank you.